KM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. Hello, everyone, and welcome to HCAM News Live. Tom Nappy here to fill you in on everything happening in Hopkinton. HCAM News Live is on the air every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. On today's edition of HCAM News Live, we have the latest Hopkinton Hillers winter sports highlights. We also talk to the Hillers Alpine Ski Team who is just having a fantastic season, plus a whole lot more. But first, we talk to the owner of Hopio, Matt Collarin, about a great fundraiser they have going on to raise money for the Hopkinton Relay for Life. Here's a look at our interview. Hello, everybody. Tom Nappy here. And today we are joined by the owner of Hopio, Matt Collarin. Matt, how are you today? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm doing well. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we understand yeah. that many exciting things are happening at Hopio, but uh, first off, it's been a tough time for a lot of small businesses. How's business going on your end? It definitely has been a challenging year. Um, I mean, the, the business model of people coming in and being able to serve themselves uh, was kind of thrown a major curveball with uh, coronavirus. Um, but throughout the whole year, we were able to pivot and we opened up our side windows and kind of converted to a more traditional uh, ice cream shop model, which was great. Um, and the, the town and the community has been super supportive. Um, but usually, yeah, I know we go into the fall winter after having a really big successful year um, and can pare back a little bit, but that's just wasn't the case. And uh, I've always thought about different ways that I could expand Hapio, especially as the weather got colder and looking at adding more candy or other things and soup just seemed like a really great, great uh, pivot. And so I found an awesome partner and have been bringing in soups beginning in the uh, uh, early December. And it's been really awesome. Um, six different fresh soups every day. Um, and I've also been able to partner with other local businesses. So like Dolce de Leche, the the chocolatier in Ashland and some um, gourmet popcorn out of Dover, New Hampshire, and the ladies from Snappy Dogs and bring, I'm serving um, limited amounts of their uh, fire angry chili. Um, so it's been, it's been really, really great. That's terrific. Um, so rather than people serving themselves now, you, you pretty much have to serve them, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. We hope that Eventually, later this year, we'll get back to a place where it's safe enough and people can come in and make their own, make their own Sundays. That's the, the joy of coming into Hop, where, you know, you can pick four different flavors and different toppings if you want and kind of mix and match. And kids love being able to create their own masterpieces. Um, and so hopefully we'll be able to get back to that. But currently, we still do have uh, frozen yogurt, a limited amount of frozen yogurt, along with our soups um, for the warmer days. Um, but yes, it's all we serve. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been going great. That's terrific. I think the addition of soups are uh, going to be great for days like today where it's very cold outside. Yeah. Uh, and I understand you have a fundraiser going on uh, with the chili, if I'm correct. Uh, can you talk about the fundraiser? I do. One of the key reasons I um, bought Hopio was to really get more and more um, invested in, in, in partnership with different organizations, especially the students. I have three kids, um, a 10 year old, eight year old and six year old who are all moving through the whole school system. And we're, we're going to be uh, here for a long time. And so, uh, it was really about having a great central location and a fun dessert frozen yogurt spot that could partner with the different community, uh, organizations, but also the students. And so I've been doing a lot with the frozen yogurt throughout the years. Um, and this year, the Relay for Life team, um, reached out to me because they're having a real tough time with their fundraising. Uh, most of their traditional fundraisers aren't uh, able to happen because of, um, all of the restrictions with COVID. 
And so uh, we came up with a fun idea to do a, a super chili fundraiser. And so I've got some really delicious chili. Tom Brady's playing, unfortunately not for our team, but it's still gonna be fun to watch to see if, if he can grab his 10th. And uh, I'm sorry, as he's playing in his 10th. Um, and so we are giving back um, for every chili that's purchased. And Brian Brown at Guaranteed Rate is awesome in town as well. He's always, always partnering and always giving back. And so he has agreed to match dollar for dollar my donation. So ultimately we're gonna give back 40% of all the chili sales for Super Bowl Sunday back to the Hopkinson Relay for Life team, which is really exciting. That's tremendous. And uh, there's a great event, as you just mentioned, coming up for that. Of course, one of the most popular chili days probably in the world yeah. is the day of the Super Bowl. And it should be an exciting uh, one this year. Probably not as many Super Bowl parties, but it's certainly uh, worth going out and getting that chili. Is it different kinds of chili or is there one specific kind? So we have a, a great beef chili and then there also will be limited amounts of Lisa's Angry Chili. Um, and so I'm taking pre-orders. Um, if you go to www.hoprfl.shop, so hop relay for life, um, but rfl.shop, and you can place your orders. Um, and we're, we'll we'll take as much as we can. As I'm working with Lisa to see how much of the angry chili she can crank out, but um, there'll be the two different types of chili. Well, that's a tremendous uh, fundraiser to benefit the relay for life. Head over to Hop. You'll get your uh, chili orders in and uh benefit a great cause uh matt before we let you go i have to ask uh who do you got winning the super bowl i have to go with tom have to go it'd be just you know record breaking and uh you know it's always fun to watch him so we'll see but it should be hopefully it's a fun game absolutely i got the tom brady buccaneers as well yeah um Thanks. two other things can i quickly just mention Hopio is up for um an award to be top um ice cream shop in local ice cream shop through Hula Frog. Um, and so if people could go and vote at votehopio.shop, that would be awesome. And we're doing a pop-up with Flower Bakery on Saturday, which is really exciting, bringing a bakery, the big bakery chain from Boston out to Hopio. Um, and so people can pre-order on Flower's website. But uh, the opportunity to give back to the students and do the partnership with Relay for Life around Chile is just the beginning. We've talked about doing a pie fundraiser and other things. And that's my goal is to help try to make up some of the, the difference that the team is not able to make in the traditional fundraisers that they usually have in non-COVID years. That's terrific. And um, where can people go to find out about all the programs uh, that you have coming up? I keep my, my Instagram feed updated all the time with the different uh, menu items and the different suits that we have. And so everything can be accessed there um, or just go to www.hop dash yo.com and all the information's on the website as well all right matt well uh thank you so much for joining us today hey thank you for the support i really appreciate it and uh we'll see we'll see what happens on sunday it should be a fun day absolutely thanks so much and best of luck with the fundraiser thank you our weekly sports show hcam sports talk live takes place every wednesday at 3 p.m and on our most recent edition, we talked with the Hopkinton Hillers Alpine Ski Team, who for the first time in program history had a first place competition finish. Here's a look. We have the Hopkinton Hillers Alpine Ski Team, and uh, we have the captains joining us as well as the coaches. So let's go around the table and we'll have everyone introduce themselves and talk about what they do on the team We'll start off with Nancy. Hi, I'm Coach Nancy. I have been the head coach of the Hopkins Ski Team for five years. And I work with new racers and advanced racers every winter to see how far we can push it and how fast we can get on the hill. Terrific. Uh, and how about Daniel? Hi, this is Dan Barry. I'm the assistant coach. I help out Nancy. I've been working side by side with Nancy since the team formed uh, five years ago. And uh, I help Nancy sort of optimize the time on the hill for the kids so that the racers are getting the best out of their training time on the hill and help coordination on the races as well. Excellent. And um, how about C. Barry? <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi, my name is Kate. I'm a senior at Hoffington High School, and this is my second year being a captain um, on the ski team. Terrific. Uh, Jackson. Hi, I'm Jackson. I'm one of three captains, first year captain, four year racer for high school, and I'm excited to be on snow. Terrific. And last but not least, Tori. Hi, I'm Tori. I'm a junior, and this is my second year on the team, and I'm a captain this year. Excellent. So uh, first off to um, the captains out there, how long have you been skiing for? Uh, what got you into skiing? Um, just talk about your background in uh, skiing a little bit. Uh, we'll start off with Kate. Um, I have been skiing for pretty much as long as I can remember. Um, I got into skiing um, because my dad, he was a skier um, when he grew up and through his life. So that's how I got into skiing. Um, and then I got into ski racing at a pretty young age as well. And then I just stuck with it all these years. Terrific. How about you, Jackson? Uh, pretty much after I started walking, my mom taught me how to ski. Uh, true story, NASCAR. And then I kind of, we moved to New England. There's not very good snow here. So we decided the best way to maintain skiing was to join racing. So around six or seven, I joined the Watch Reason Mountain Race Team. And then as soon as I entered high school, the new team was starting up and I thought it was a great opportunity to combine my love of high school sports with my love of skiing. All right, how about Tori? Um, so my story is a little bit different. I was a swimmer for a really long time and I had skied recreationally and for fun um, since I was pretty little. But um, after my freshman year swimming for the high school swim team, I decided that I was getting a little bored with swimming. So Nancy encouraged me to join the ski team and I'm back this year and I'm really loving it. Terrific. All right. Well, um, the ski program just got started up recently. Uh, for the coaches, could you talk about the history of the program a little bit and how it ended up getting started? Sure. Dan and I have been around since the uh, first idea of having a ski team for high school. Um, we had a bunch of parents from uh, Wachusett Mountain Race Team in the area, and we had little ones at the time. And we thought it would be fun when they got big enough for high school that it would be great to have a high school ski program. So we started pursuing what that would mean and how to start one. And it was about a three year um, process of learning how to start a high school team with MIAA. We went to many meetings, talked to a lot of uh, administrators, talked to a lot of the leagues around the area to find out if we could be a good fit and what it would take to start a team. Um, Hopkinton um, worked through the process with us and five years ago we got the green light from them and we got a green light from our league and um, ski ward and we just started rolling from there. Um, I've been coaching for about 10 years now so it was an easy fit to help out and get a coach for the high school and work with these kids from all different backgrounds to give them a winter sport that's outside the building and with a lot of fresh air around. You can check out the entire interview with the Hopkinton Alpine Ski Team over at our website, hcam.tv. We're going to take a quick break on this edition of HCAM News Live. Coming up next, we'll have the latest Hiller sports highlights, including girls basketball who celebrated the five seniors on their roster. A whole lot more ahead. Stay tuned. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Phipps Insurance Agency, representing companies such as MapFree Insurance. Their family-owned independent agency is deeply rooted in the communities they serve and offer time-tested insurance products to fit individual needs. Since 1950, Phipps Insurance specializes in home, auto, business, condo, and renter's insurance.
Welcome back to HCAM News. Despite a number of postponements, some of the Hillers winter sports teams managed to get some games in. Here's a look at the latest Hillers highlights, including a glimpse of the Hopkinton Hillers girls basketball team senior night. This past Friday, January 29th, the Hopkinton Hillers girls varsity basketball team took on Dedham and celebrated the five seniors on their roster. Here's a look at the pre-game Senior Day festivities. First, we'd also like to recognize Dedham's three seniors. If you'd just like to stand, number 14, Melissa Elliott. Number 20, Kara Bullett. And number 24, Lady Turner. Congratulations, Joseph. And now for the Hopkinton seniors. First, Kylie Hardenbrook. And her guests, Kristen, her mother, Mike, her father, and Abby, her sister. Our next senior is one of our captains, Lulu Murphy. And her guest is Mother Tracy, her father Kevin, her brother Josh, sister Emma, and grandmother Betty. Our next senior, also a captain, Millie Sinsen, and her guest, her mother Mary, her father Scott, her sister Annabelle, and brother Ethan. Senior Captain Caroline Connell and her guests, her mom Melissa and her dad Mike. Congratulations, ladies! Both teams put up 12 points in the first quarter. Carly and Maggie Hedstrom each knocked down a three-point field goal. Hedstrom on the entry. Over to Lulu. The kick out to the corner, up for three, got it. Maggie Hedstrom knocks it down. Pretty good arm there by Delaney Turner. Cho feeds it out to the corner, up for three, and knocking it down is Carly Hedstrom. In the second quarter, Lauren Cho put up eight points, including a pair of threes to help the Hillers outscore Dedham 16-7 and take a 28-19 lead into the halftime break. Well, that might have just been a contact stoppage. Too many players in the same area. Cho for three. Got it. Swishes it right through. There goes Maggie to Cho for three. Count it, Lauren Cho feeling it. In the third quarter, more effective defensive pressure by the Hillers and a three point field goal from three different players helped them add to their lead. There, 
And it's collected by Lulu, nice rebound. Kiki driving in up from the block. Air ball, good rebound by Trendle. Up top now, and Lulu knocks it down. Cho, leads it out to Lulu. Now up top, Maggie for three, got it. Swishes it through. Her second three-point bucket of the game. 12-point game. Show over to Fossbender for three, yes. They outscored Dedham 11-7 to take a 39-26 lead into the final quarter. In the fourth quarter, Kiki Fossbender added eight points. Here comes Hopkinton up court, Lulu with possession. Edstrom over Trendle, now Lulu. Fossbender for three, knocks it down. They could just wait for a good opportunity. Fossbender for three, and I'd say that was a good opportunity as she knocks it down. The Hillers outscored Dedham in the frame 12 to 11 and took the game 56 to 37. Kiki Fossbender had a team leading 21 points, while Lauren Cho added 12 points Hopkinton improved to four and one overall. After Medfield shut down sports for the week, Bellingham picked up the challenge against the Hillers boys hockey team this past Saturday. Prior to the game, both teams had a moment of silence for injured Bishop Fian player, AJ Quetta. Hopkinton took control early, netting five goals in the first half. And now taking over, that's Swain, looking for a shot there. Good defense in front of the net. And Mara going to get to the puck. Here he goes, on a break to the net. Shot and a goal! Habit Mara makes it 1-0 Hillers. Less than a minute into action. 25 seconds into action to be exact. Fast start. Toko sends it over to the near side. There's a shot out in front of the net, and it's a loose puck. And was that put in? Yes, it was. And that is going to be Ryan Title with the goal. Ryan Title makes it 2 to nothing with 19-17 left to go in the first half. Aiden Walsh on the assist. Over to Berman. And that nice pass over to Berman, that went in. Wow, what a shot by Mike Berman. Wow, great for the blue light. And you can give Cam Jarrett the assist. And he didn't expect that to go in, but he found the seam and put it through with 3.24 left to make it three to nothing Hillers. Sends it out to Toko. Toko looking for a shot, sends it over to Jarrett and Jarrett puts it in. A beauty of a setup for Jarrett by Jeff Toko. And it's 4 0 Hillers. Go for a tougher shot. And here comes Toko looking for a shot, and he puts it in. Jeff Toko goes right side, top corner, and makes it 5 0. And that goal comes with one second left in the first half. Five to nothing after one, and the Hillers added another goal in the second half. And now racing up the ice on a wide open break. Tyler Morris, he'll leave it behind. And the shot by Moore, and that's it! Andrew Moore makes it six to nothing, Hillers. And a great assist by Tyler Morris. Hopkinton took the game six to nothing and improved to three wins and one loss overall. On Thursday, January 28th, Hiller's Alpine Ski had another successful competition. Here's a look. The protest video evidence is admissible. All right, Kate, let's see what you got. Beautiful through the flush, back to the rhythm. Hit that delay, bring it on in. 
Push, push. Nice. Well done. Fantastic. That is the fastest time of the night on the girls' course, without a quit, without a doubt. Alpine Ski had a big night as the boys won for the first time in the program's history, and the girls took second place. Kate Barry finished first overall. Libby Herlehigh finished fourth. Clara Niss finished fifth. Gabriella Siri finished 16th to lead the girls. As far as the boys, Jackson Schlussel finished first. Cameron Hanna finished second. Jake Lakosh finished sixth. And Nathan Foster finished 10th to lead the boys. Congratulations on the first first place finish in program history to the boys Alpine ski team. Let's take a look at how the Hopkinton Hillers have done so far this winter season. Boys basketball, they are still looking to get a game in after many postponements, but good news, they will be in action this week as well. Girls basketball is 5-1 and one after a win against Dedham on January 31st. Boys hockey, 3-1 and one after a win last Saturday against Bellingham. And then girls hockey. They took on Norwood this past Saturday and tied that game 2-2. Two to two. They are 1-2-1 one, and one on the season. And then you have boys indoor track, who is 3-0, and, oh, and also girls indoor track, who is 3-0. and oh. Upcoming games this week. On Friday, February 5th, we have Hopkinton Hillers boys basketball versus Westwood. 3.30 p.m. for the freshman game. We'll have that stream. And then also... The JV game is at 5 p.m. and Varsity at 6.30 p.m. And then on Saturday, February 6th, we have Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey against Westwood. A 1.40 p.m. face-off from the New England Sports Center. The Boston Athletic Association has announced that they are planning on Monday, October 11th, for the 125th Boston Marathon Monday, October 11th, the expected date of the 125th Boston Marathon. We certainly hope to see all the runners this year. Also, it's time for your picture of the week. And this is the Hillers girls basketball team via Twitter as they celebrated their five seniors. Here's a great shot of the tremendous seniors on their roster. They will certainly be missed and provided many great memories while in a Hiller's uniform. And then you got Bill Morgan of the Golden Spoon. He opened up Morgan's Harbor to the Hill at 8A Lumber Street in Hopkinton. And if you're looking for some seafood, head over to Morgan's Harbor to Hill at 8A Lumber Street in Hopkinton, owned by Bill Morgan of the Golden Spoon. Upcoming government meetings for the full schedule, of course, you can head over to HopkintonMA.gov. On Monday, February 8th at 7 p.m. on HCAM TV, we'll have the planning board meeting. On Tuesday, February 9th at 6 p.m., we'll have the select board meeting. That is also on HCAM TV. And then on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAM TV, Tuesday, February 9th at 7 p.m., we will have the Conservation Commission. Believe it or not, we are out of time for this edition of HCAM News Live. But don't worry, we'll be back next Thursday at 6.30 p.m. For everyone at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for tuning in. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Have a good night, everybody. Hey.